MJ Flood Fashion and I am back with another video for you guys. So since I'm doing the back to school series thing, I decided to throw in another DIY. But this time it's not drum decor. This time it's actually a DIY pineapple backpack. And I'm super excited because it's so cute. And here it is. I can't really fit it in the frame. <laughs> and it's super bright, but it's super cute. It is a DIY pineapple bag. And I think it's super cute. I think it's perfect. Not for like books and stuff like that because that can be quite heavy but this is great for gym or even like a lunch bag and I think it's super cute despite the fact that I'm allergic to pineapples it's still really cute <laughs> but I'm super excited for today's video so let's just jump right in Alrighty, so the materials you're going to need for today's DIY are a drawstring bag, I picked mine up from the dollar store felt, white paint, a paintbrush and of course a hot glue gun so let's get started. So like I said, you're going to need a baggie and you're going to need a book. And what you're going to do is stuff the baggie with the book or a paper or a piece of paper. And this will stop the paint from seeping through to the other side. And now you want to grab your white paint and a paintbrush and start painting diagonal lines until you reach the top of your baggie. You want to repeat the exact same steps. But this time the diagonals are going to go the opposite direction and you're going to create the whole... Uh, pineapple effect, I guess. Once you are done that, let that dry for roughly 10 minutes. And you're going to grab some felt and draw these little mountain thingies, aka the leaves, and cut those out. Once you're done cutting it out, you want to glue it together because the felt pieces are quite short. So you want to glue it together to extend it. And now you have this mountain slash leaf thingy. Once your bag is dried, you want to flip it inside out and you're going to grab your leaf thingy and you're going to glue it to the top of your drawstring baggie. So what I like to do with hot glue guns, I like to make sure I glue things down like in sections just because they glue up, I mean they glue up, they dry up real quick so I like to do it in sections just to make sure they're secure and sticking right onto it good. So yes. Once you are done gluing the one side of it, you can go ahead and flip that over and repeat the exact same steps. Now I didn't have enough felt to completely go around the whole opening, but it still ended up looking good so it's totally up to you if you want to um, cut out leaves so that it covers like the whole opening, but I kind of did like a half job of it and it still looked good, so it's all good in the head. <laughs> Once you are done gluing everything together and it's all dried, you can flip that inside out again. And you are all done today's DIY. gym bag or a lunch bag if we're bringing it to school but you can use it as a everyday go-to bag as well it's super cute and super convenient because it's lightweight and a good size so I definitely loved how it turned out you can be creative with it you don't have to make a pineapple you can make any fruit or it doesn't even have to be fruit but a strawberry would be super cute as well but I decided on the pineapple just because I think it's funny because I'm allergic to pineapples but they're really cute but yeah Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's DIY. If you do create your own fruity bag, please do tag me on Instagram at jfornow because I'd love to see your recreations. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week. Bye! Yeah. Action. <laughs> what? Follow me. No, don't follow me. Oh. <laughs> I thought this was like a go behind you.